Starting the election results off with some Alpena County news. At the time of production, not all townships of Alpena County had their votes counted in. But current prosecutor Ed Black was winning by 1,546 votes when we last checked in with County Clerk Bonnie Fredericks. Dowling had 420 votes at last check. If he wins, then Black, who is the incumbent, will have been re-elected and will have beat out Don Dowling Jr. for this position. Tomorrow at 6 p.m. we will have the official result. Alpena County voters were also voting on a new county treasurer today. At the time of production, Kimberly A. Ludlow was in the lead, beating out Chris Corwin. Now, Corwin attempted to withdraw from this race before these primary elections. The results are in almost for the Alpena County District 4 County Commissioner position. Republican incumbent Lyle Van Warmer had 151 votes at the time of production. His opponent Bill Peterson has 126 votes at last check with the county clerk's office. This is the closest race by far for Alpena County tonight. Tonight, running against the incumbent Republican State Representative Peter Patalia for the November election will be one of the two Democratic candidates, Nicholas Hines and Kenneth Hubbard. At the time of production, the Democrat with the most votes winning the primary election, moving on to the November 2012 election, running against Peter Patalia is Kenneth C. Hubbard. Now, Hubbard is winning by over uh, 600 votes. The Alpena County residents today voted on a proposal that would reauthorize the 911 operating surcharge. At the time of production, this proposal was passing with 2,437 over 813 votes. These votes reflect 17 out of 19 voting precincts. If it continues to receive votes as the clerk's office continues to receive them, county residents will continue to be charged up to $3 per month on their landline, wireless, and VOIP service lines in order to continue funding of 911 one emergency telephone call answering dispatch services. Residents of the city of Alpena voted today to pass six amendments to the city council charter. These amendments were either revisions, repeals, or language changes to various chapters and sections within the ch charter. Today, residents voted to pass all six of those charter amendments.